hi 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 it's a here again and so in this tutorial i will teach you guys how to create a wireframe um from an app that i have mentioned so this is balsamic and yeah so and without further ado let's jump right to our tutorial okay so this is like the second part of the series of how we can create the design file of the wireframe so the first one i introduced about um, the concept of c3 so this is how we implement in our real project so first take a look uh, so this is what our app, our app look like Num some navigation here um, the button to add the desired design um, element and there's a screen here where we can create the wireframe so this is a wireframe that i have created for an app that i was working on at my company so this is the payment um component okay so to create a new one you uh, go to the top left here and hit new wireframe and so a new one has been created for you okay so now get back to the mockup so in the mockup we um, already have this um, this um, design so this is our food app that we have been learning and so I think the we will create a screen that is completely different from this one so I guess it would be a good idea that we uh, create a, a tracking system after you have placed an order so this is the tracking um, the tracking order of the um, shipper on the map okay so let's get back to our app okay so first off i normally would start um, googling some image in order to get an idea of what is a good ux uh, in order to uh, create a good um, wireframe so here we can refer from the tracking order in uber and this is how it looks like yes it is kind of like um, a good wireframe so we can refer from here get back to our app so in our new wireframe here we create a screen here so you get uh, to the top ribbon and you click on android and a smartphone you um, grab a smartphone and put it on our playing space um, so on here um, so the first one the first rule is that you need to make sure that it is consistent with our um, current um, design so looking here you can see that uh, for the order we will have the delivery to the buy button here and the uh, profile pictures of um, the um, user on the top right so uh, first uh, we can reuse from our design here yeah so reuse to reuse uh, reusing a component is very important because it have you save time and um, create much faster result than just um, designing everything from scratch okay so it's a little okay so after you um, select grouping so three elements you uh, right click and hit uh, copy paste at a png okay and you go back to our balsamic and you pass it on the balsamic one okay uh, we reside it here so uh, in order not to break the ratio of um, the design you uh, hit the shift button and then you um, reside it okay so okay this one look nice and next here you can see that we have the um, map at the heart of the screen so you would go to uh, quick add here okay so um, in order to add a new element you uh, go to the top right and you, hit, you search the keyword so this could be a map okay so we have the street map here and you put it um, at the heart of our screen resign it okay um, and on the map 
actually you can put um, some information um, to let the designer know, the designer know that you want to have like a destination um, so we have the destination which is the uh, map bit okay and map marker and maybe a restaurant okay and a bike to know that uh, that is the driver okay so back again to uh, okay so here we uh, start to import this one is the destination this one is currently the driver and this is the restaurant okay so you just put it here and uh, then you may need to put the order your order normally we would have like the order um, I mean the item of the order you have a uh, place here so we, we, we use this one okay uh, use this one copy it add PNG and then paste it here resign it okay maybe just small oh wait um here we have the button here so it's not good UI so we need some kind of modification before uh, we can proceed yeah so I have clone to another one and um, to for the modification you can just simply do something like this okay delete here delete this one okay and then replace this one by the X instead of like you have you order like one item cover it and throw it to our balsamic okay this is our order mm, actually I want um, it's kind of like to be an extra more so here you will put the text What is here? Your order. Top here. And then a button. More here. So um, it will open the other behavior such as like cancel the order or uh, contact the, the driver for help. So button. What is here? Okay, so you can have like more button. Okay, and here uh, you may add the um, like it's better time to arrive. Takes resign it. And then the clock here, okay. Okay, so the clock, you put it here, um, and also a text to let them know about the time. So, for example, ten thirty. Okay, so now you see <laughs> that the um, clock is actually way bigger than um, the other elements, so you may need to resign it. So you uh, just look at the uh, right corner here. You can see that there is a resign here. And then you resign it to the side of S. And then it. Okay, so this is kind of like a 
uh, wireframes that we have created from our application um, it doesn't need to be like everything uh, need to be perfect just um, so the main purpose is just let the designer know your ideas and how they can easily work on the mockup so yeah so this look nice okay and so this is it um, this is how we create the wireframe so you can see that we can get really creative with um, the reuse of the past components or um, it's very easy to also use this on balsamic um, so I hope you like it and if you do please consider hit the like and support, support my channel I really appreciate and in the next video tutorial I will show you some things that you can do on the mockup and the prototype even though that the PA normally don't touch much on so on the two so stay tuned bye see you in the next video Thank you.